Do members of Congress use their jobs to benefit their families? A new report released by a citizen's watchdog group says yes. Let's turn to CNN's Kathleen Koch. She's following this story for us. Uh, Kathleen, uh, what are you learning? Well, Wolf, this group took a look at the campaign finance reports of the 337 most powerful members of the House of Representatives, and it found that just under a third, 41 Democrats and 55 Republicans, have relatives or relatives' companies on the campaign payroll. $1.6 million. That's how much the watchdog group Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Government says the most powerful members of the House of Representatives have paid relatives or relatives companies over the last three election cycles. It's a huge loophole. Members of Congress are basically um, uh, adding to their salaries by having their family members, particularly their spouses, make lots of money off their campaign payrolls. A loophole because while it's illegal to put relatives on their congressional payroll, it's not illegal for a lawmaker's campaign to hire them. On the payroll, wives, husbands, companies, and children, including those of two presidential candidates. Ron Paul has paid his daughter one of the highest amounts of money over three election cycles. He paid her $163,000. And Duncan Hunter has paid his daughter-in-law $105,000. And that's pretty, those are pretty hefty amounts of money over three election cycles. Paul, in his statement, said there was, quote, nothing inappropriate about his daughter's employment as campaign treasurer or what he called the, quote, relatively modest compensation she receives. Hunter was not available to respond. Howard Berman of California paid his brother's company $195,000. In a statement, he explained his brother's firm are seasoned political professionals and, quote, no portion of the money my campaign committee has spent retaining their services has benefited me financially. Is One lawmaker, Gary Miller of California, and even paid himself. He was paying himself in rent over $124,000 over three election cycles. And that's an awful lot of money to pay your own business in rent for your campaign committee. Miller's office says he, quote, firmly believes his campaign office is in full compliance with federal law. And while federal law does allow qualified fam family members to be hired by the campaign, some lawmakers believe it's just not right. Two of them have introduced a bill in the House to stop the practice of at least hiring spouses. But Wolf, we're told, uh, no surprise, it's not expected to pass. All right, that's on the House side. What about the senators? What are you learning on the Senate side? Well, Wolf, this group said it was just a mammoth task waiting through all the campaign finance records for the House. They are, though, planning to do a second report, report examining just how many senators are hiring their family members. All right, we'll stand by for that one, too. Thanks uh, very much, Kathleen Koch, reporting.